I wanted to show y'all that I'm at Amazon parking lot still living in my car and here is my bed if you can see it I, I just can't believe this is my life now this I, I just can't believe it I mean I live in my car at my job who does that who does that I work for the world's richest man and I live in my car. I was still, you know, holding out hope that I would get enough money from my GoFundMe page to pay all of my rent. Well, I didn't accumulate enough money. This is my eviction letter. So now I'm living out of my car. This is the life of an Amazon employee who works 40 hours a week at $13.25 an hour. I'm very proud of our working conditions. I have $1 in my purse and I have $5.46 on my new bank card. I have no food and I have no gas. And I'm a full-time Amazon employee. I've sold all my jewelry. I've pawned all my guns that I used to have. I have nothing of evidentiary value. As a Amazon employee, I should not have to struggle like this. This is not five people. This is what is going on all over this country. These are the stories of tens and tens of millions of Americans. I I'm at a loss for words that a company, a trillion dollar company, a man that has a ballroom in his home, somebody that has two, three, four mansions. Look what I'm moving out of. See this? From January 1st through May 1st of this year, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, saw his wealth increase by $275 million every single day. The only way that I can see to deploy this much financial resource is by converting my Amazon winnings into space travel. He has so much money. And instead of giving that to his workers, he's building a rocket ship. This is real life. And this is how real life people live. We don't live on a high horse up in a mansion somewhere, eating steaks every night or eating out. So while Jeff Bezos is enjoying his steak every night, I want him to know personally what I'm going to be eating for supper tonight. Crackers and cheese? Sounds good to me. That, my friends, is corporate America. As we hear these stories, it speaks to the incredible culture of greed in this country. It is not a culture where people are respected, who are part of a team. And we have to ask ourselves a very fundamental question as to whether or not that is the kind of country and the kind of economic culture that we are comfortable with. When we are criticized, there is a simple process that you need to go through, which is first you look yourself in the mirror and decide, is your critic right? I want y'all to see what this goddamn company has done to me. Do you agree? It's broken me. Are we doing something wrong? I mean, mentally and physically, it's broken me. If you are, change.